paying attention a little bit, okay? This thing called the Core 100 is the single greatest reason for how I went from zero to number one in four years. My family lived on the other side of the country, so I didn't have those referrals. I did not have a builder contact. I didn't have networks. Even my wife's family, my sister-in-law, was a realtor. There goes those referrals. I had nothing. Here's how it works. Core 100. Tell me right now, guys. Just shout it out. Where do you get business from now? Neighbors. Neighbors? Okay. Referrals? Anybody else? Just listed, just sold, like prospecting, that kind of stuff? Or do you mean the postcards going out, that kind of stuff? Okay. Anybody else? Cold calling? Okay, here's what we're going to talk about. The Core 100, very simply, this is one page of it. The Core 100, very simply, is a list of a hundred different businesses or industries you could potentially be networking with. Now, guys, even though this is a larger crowd, I'm going to take this in layers. So just follow along with me, okay? Hundred different businesses or industries you could potentially be networking with. What do most realtors do? They network, if at all, they network with the people that they suppose or they think are the closest related to their industry, right? Do you guys do in this area here, do you guys use attorneys, title, what do you use? Attorneys? Okay, just have to ask, because different parts, they do it differently, okay? I want to make sure that I say something that relates to you. So they might network with a mortgage broker, an attorney, an insurance broker. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? And so that's great. That's one level. But the problem is you're limited each year by how much growth you can have, because you just have those people, right? And so what's unique about our industry, though? If you're selling perfume, I'm probably not a client for you, right? I hope not, right? Now, when you're selling houses, does not everybody need a roof over their head? Our sound guy needs a roof over his head. Our you know, senior citizens need a roof over their head. Children need a roof over their head. Everybody needs a roof over their head. Is that true or is that not true? Let's take it one more layer then. Like I said, I'm going to do this in layers, OK? Now, according to a recent poll, 69% of the overall public, the general public, 69% say that they do not have active representation. Seven out of 10 people, if they were to buy or sell a house right now, have no idea who they'd use. It's about the time my ears would perk up as a realtor. Seven out of 10, OK? Now, out of these you know, 69%, these seven out of 10 people, these, you know, when you start to relate to this core 100 now, here's what the core 100 is. You're going to create these relationships where the only prerequisite for the people on your core 100 is that they are no longer a part of that 69%. They don't need to refer you. They don't need to anything. All they say is that when I go to buy or sell a house, you are my realtor. You guys follow so far? Now, this core 100 is not just your mortgage person, insurance person, you know, whatever it may be. They're everyone. They're tire salesmen. They are whatever. How often does the average person buy or sell a house? I love it. You guys are so educated. I go to some audiences. They have no clue. Five to seven years. Average person buys or sells a house once every five to seven years. That's general public, right? That's not just first time home buyers, that's general public. So in your core 100, you have gym owners, you have landscapers, you have tire salesmen, you have doctors, you have anybody who's from the general public. And remember, what's our prerequisite? Even if they never refer you, all they do is say that when I go to buy or sell, you are my realtor. You guys following so far? Okay. Average person buys or sells a house how often? OK, take this in layers. If you build a network of 100 different industries, relationships that have that kind of relationship I just talked about, you will guarantee yourself 150 transactions over the next five to seven years. Do you want to know how? It's a leading question. I love it, the intensity now. Now I've got your, now I've got your guys' focus, OK? Average person buys or sells once every five to seven years. 50% on your core 100 are going to buy and sell. They're going to sell their house. They're going to buy another one. 50% are going to buy or sell. Okay. Now, I know that there's a cynic in the room that's going to say, well, some people aren't going to buy or sell at all. You're absolutely correct. It's an average. Some are going to buy or sell three or four times during that period. Some are going to buy or sell once every 30 years. But the average person buys or sells once every five to seven years. Are you ready to take this to the next level? Now remember, as I'm talking about this, this is not in theory. This is what I did. Okay? This is what our coaching students do. This is what, okay? This is not in theory. Let's take it to the next level. How many average referrals are there to give out on every single transaction? Can anybody tell me? The possibility to give out referrals, how many on every transaction? Anybody tell me? How many? Three? Anybody else? Eight? What else? The answer is 25 to 40. The number is always lower when I'm talking to people because your minds are trained to only think about what we said before, the people who correlate to your business. 
right? When you talk about, but let's, you know, the insurance person, the mortgage person, this kind of a thing, right? Now, are your people, when you're working with them, are they not in a position at that time where they're buying and selling more services than they ever have in their life? How many of you have ever had somebody who bought a house and they renovated the house? Raise your hands. And they did the roof, and they did the countertops, and they did the floor, and they did the landscaping, and they did the driveway, and they did all of these things. They bought insurance. They might have joined a gym. They might have, they did all of these things. Have you had that experience? The idea is that we become Google to our people, that they no longer have to jump on Google, jump on a phone book, jump on any of these things to get business, or for, to get referrals for things, okay? Let's take it one step further. Everybody still with me? We're doing this in layers here. Let's take it one step further now. Have you guys ever heard of the Dead Sea? Okay, here's a principle for you to remember, and I'm gonna explain it in a second. If you want your business to go to the next level, if you want your business to be a top producing business, take the focus off of yourself and put it on somebody else. I'll explain this in a second. How many of you are in networking groups, lead groups, tip groups, anybody? There really should be more hands than that, guys. These are just good groups to be in, okay? Now, many times it's like a group of vultures. Here's what's good for me. This is what's good for me this week. Here's, I don't have any leads for anybody. Here's what's good for me. Have you guys seen this? This is generally how people act. If you want your business to be successful, make other people successful. When you give leads to other people, what is their natural inclination? To reciprocate, right? To reciprocate. If not, you move on to somebody else, right? Do you realize that there's actually a thing called a reciprocation rate? It means that, you know, the percentage that you give to people that they will give back to you, it's 20%. Let's take the Dead Sea, for example. You guys have heard of the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea, it takes water in from the Jordan River and the Galilean Mountains. I just saw some faces like, whoa, you're going over my head now, okay? Jordan River, Galilean Mountains, you're not going to be quizzed on that. Where does it outlet to? Nowhere. It's called the Dead Sea. It takes and it doesn't give. There are principles that exist whether we recognize them or not. It is the lowest form of body of water on the face of the earth. It has the highest mineral and salt content on the face of the earth. Nothing living can live there. It is the Dead Sea. It takes and it doesn't give. It mirrors many of our businesses. Okay? And so, let's take this example now and, and, and take it uh, one step further now. If you were to give out on a regular basis, we said how many average referrals are there on every single transaction? What was the number? All right, you guys are paying attention now, 25 to 40. Now, when we're saying that, remember, we've kind of we've broken it down now. It's not just the typical things, it's everything, right? Everything, gym owner, anything, right? So let's say, what's the average number of transactions somebody does in this area? What's average, do you think? Throw it out, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna you know, pick on you. How, how many do you think is average? How many, I didn't hear that. You guys say it louder. Thousand? That's a little high, yeah. Average per year. 30? That seems high. It seems good. 20? 12? Okay, 12. Let's take 12, okay? If you did 12, let's use 15 because I'm getting numbers in between. Let's just say that the average number of transactions that you did in the next 12 months was 15 transactions. And on every single transaction, you worked your tail off to give out 20 referrals on every one of them, now that we've expanded our mindset, right? And so you gave out 20 referrals on 15 transactions. You will have given out 300 referrals by the end of the year, correct? What was the average reciprocation rate? 20%. Let's say you're not a very likable person and yours is 10%, okay? So you give out 300, that means you got 30 referrals back. You did 15 transactions, you got 30 referrals back. Do you see how this works? Reciprocation rate. Let's take this one step further. Is everybody with me so far? Let's take it one step further. You have 100 different people on your list that say, look, when I go to buy or sell my house, you are my person, right? We already said that if you're giving out leads on a regular basis, what is going to happen? They're going to reciprocate. You all are with me so far. Do you think it's abnormal if you build a core of 100? And by the way, do you think it's easy to build 100 different relationships? Absolutely not. But we're working hard at the wrong things. It is not easy at all, but it is absolutely worth it, okay? And by the way, before I get the question, people always say, well, how come it's not the core 104 or the core 107? Core 100 sounds better. That's why it's that way, just before I get that question. So, core 100 now. You are giving business to these people on a regular basis. We're going to talk about how you do that in a second, too. You're giving business to these people on a regular basis, and we said their natural inclination is to reciprocate, right? Do you think it's abnormal that over the next five to seven years total, not average per year, total, that they would give you an average of two referrals per person over the next five to seven years. It's extremely low, actually. Some are going to give you eight per year. Some are going to give you eight total. Some are going to give you zero, but we're figuring two total over the next five to seven years. It could really even be one referral that turns into two transactions, a buy and a sell, right? You just created 200 more transactions. 
Take your 150 and add 200, you're now up to 350 transactions. That's 50 to 70 transactions per year, and we haven't even talked about past clients, we haven't talked about sphere of influence, we haven't talked about prospecting, we have not talked about any of that, okay? Now how do you give leads on a regular basis? We have to retrain our minds. You remember those old AM, FM, uh, transistor radio, whatever, you know, zzz, and then it goes into the station, zzz, it goes into the station, you guys remember this, right? Here's what we have to do, we've got to retrain, we've got to refocus it to when we are talking to people, we hear their need. Meaning the next time you're at a picnic and someone says, I just went to whatever store to get some stain for my deck, instead of our usual response, which is great, oh that sounds like fun, whatever, we are thinking to ourselves, I wonder if they need a handyman. You change the way that you think about things. Now, I know that there's a cynic in the room too who is saying to themselves, well that sounds great, but I don't have any transactions. How am I going to give out leads? Was anybody thinking that? Remember now, this is not theory. I did this. I was in that exact situation. So pay attention to this, and every one of you can do this. Are there people on your core 100 that you do not have to be going through a transaction in order to give a lead? Are there? How about an insurance person? Does someone need to be buying or selling a house in order to get a new quote on their home or their auto? No, they don't, right? So here's what I did. This is practical. Exactly what I did, which every one of you can do in the next week if you want to. I started calling every single person I knew and I begged and I pleaded that they would call and get a quote from this insurance person. I said I will defriend you, I will debrother you, I will whatever I have to do if you do not call and spend five minutes getting a quote from this person. I don't care if you book a policy, call them and get a quote, right? How many people called? 40. I had 40 people call this insurance person in one week. Does it matter if, if she booked all the policies with those people? But 20 of them did, because they figured out they could save money. What kind of an impression do you think it makes on an insurance broker when they get 40 referrals that turn into 20 books of business in one week from one realtor? What kind of an impression? You have taken that person from being a casual core 100 member, where it's like, hey, if somebody asks if I know a realtor, I'll mention your name, I'm committed to you if I go to buy or sell, and you have turned them into an absolute advocate where they are turning over every rock and trying to find you business because no one's ever given me this much business even in a year. You see how that, now, can everyone in here do that? Was that pretty simple? How many of you have done that? Not too fast now, guys. All right, very simple. This is what I meant when I said stop letting everybody make the rules. A lot of the old school ways of things still work, but we have to take them to the next level. Now, one more point on this. When you build your core 100, 100 different relationships, can we just ignore them now? These 100 people? Who in here, raise your hand, who's married? Who's been married longer than 30 years? 35 years, 40 years. I'm looking for the oldest marriage in here. Anybody longer than 40 years, 45 years? Yell it out, because I got you. How, how long have you been married? 50 years? How, 45, did you say 50 years? Congratulations, all right. 50 years you've been married, right? You go home tonight and you see your spouse. And you complete, remember that movie Ghost? With, uh, was it Kevin Costner or what was his name? They're the same people, they're the same people. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding, they're not the same people, they're not the same people. So you go home just like Ghost and you completely ignore her. She's not even there, you don't say hello, you don't do anything, you walk in the door, whatever you ignore. You don't say goodnight, you lay down. You wake up the next morning, you do the exact same thing. No hello, no goodbye, nothing. You don't call, she is dead to you. You don't say anything to her, you do that for two weeks. What just happened to your 50 year marriage? Over. Or I'll get another week. <laughs> Now some would say it wouldn't take two weeks, right? And that is the strongest relationship you have in your life. What happens if you ignore those people on your core 100 and you do not cultivate those relationships? Over. So it's not enough to build them, you have to cultivate them. Are we making sense so far? All right, you guys are so intense right now. Now remember, 78% of people trust a personal referral while 14% trust an ad. And actually, business to business referrals have a higher closing ratio than personal referrals. Did you realize that? It means that if my plumber sends me somebody, I have a better closing ratio than if my mother sends them.